is going on guys? I hope everyone is having an amazing day. I'm having an awesome day. Yesterday was a really good day as well. I'm just having a really good week. Today is going to be an exciting video. Yesterday, Jay and Aunt came over. We installed Jay's new splitter. That thing looks absolutely sick. Game, oh, you just slammed it against the crowd. <laughs> Damn, dude, that looks sick. I'm a huge fan of his splitter. His car's coming out absolutely sick. If you guys want to check out more of his car, definitely go follow his Instagram. But I tried making the video yesterday, just things didn't go as planned. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the BRZ. The BRZ is finally done. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys already got a little sneak peek of it. And I'm finally gonna show you guys the color. I didn't show it to anyone yet. I did, however, tell you guys to guess what color I went for the BRZ on my Instagram. And uh, surprisingly, some of you got it correctly. And before I show you guys the BRZ, I just wanna let you guys know that this wasn't a professional paint job. I did this paint job in my garage. The reason why I didn't start the video off today in my garage was because my garage is an absolute fucking mess right now. I didn't clean up after painting my car yet because we're still gonna paint the RX-8 and uh, that's the whole reason why I didn't really record showing you guys painting my car because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of learning how to paint a car. So this is my first ever paint job that I did in my garage. So this thing does have its flaws, but say hello to party boys. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Doesn't Jay have a purple car? Isn't it gonna look weird? Just two purple cars next to each other? Other. One, Jay's one of my best buds. It's okay if we both have purple cars. And two, yes, that would be just the slightest teeny bit weird. So Jay is changing his color. That's why I decided to go purple. If Jay wasn't getting rid of his color, I would have done purple. We refinished the wheels. If you guys remembered that this was like an ugly bronze color, we changed out the lips for it as well. So I painted the wheels in a meteor gray color. I was gonna make these satin black to make them flow a little bit better, but I figured let me just keep them chrome right now. And if I really don't like them, then I'll go satin black. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like them chrome? Or do you think I should definitely just paint them satin black? Carbon fiber hood vents are in right now, but they're not really held down yet. I just put them in temporarily. Today we have to permanently mount them in there. <laughs> but uh, here it is. I really hope you guys like it. I absolutely love it. I've been slaving on getting this car done. This car needs a detail. I might be getting a detail later today or either tomorrow. Like I said, this is my first paint job ever and I just did it in my garage. So it didn't come out perfect. Definitely needs a good detail. Basically, I just need the whole car buffed out, but I'm definitely really proud of how it came out. I'm really proud of myself for this. So this color is pretty metallic-y. The color I went with was Daytona Violet Metallic. This color is from BMW. What I really like about it is that you can get up close and see a lot of sparkles. And then when it's in the dark, it's not really that dark, but this is the shade. When it's in the shade or really dark, it has this really dark purple look and sometimes it even looks black. I was actually originally planning on painting this car black, but black was just too basic. I wanted something that popped out just a little bit more. So uh, we went with purple, boys. I wanna apologize right now. I've been making two videos a week and you guys liked it. I absolutely love doing it. Finally started making two videos a week and all of a sudden I went back to one video last week and then this is gonna be just one video this week as well but starting this upcoming week, we're gonna do two videos a week again. I just really, really wanted to get this car done ASAP so I could show you guys. I didn't want this to be another month long process. I figured if I have to press the brakes on the videos for just a week and I can get this thing done ASAP, that'll be totally worth it. I really hope you guys agree. But two videos every week will certainly be back. And I know you guys can see the car right now. It's not done. By no means is this car done. There are still so many mods that I want to do to this car. So this car by no means is finished or done. This car still needs some speed, boys. I really wanted to show you guys the car out in the sunlight. The garage was an absolute mess, so I figured just showing it there wouldn't be anything special. But uh, let's head back to the garage and then uh, get a few more things buttoned up on this car so this car can be perfect. Had to get the essentials for today from AutoZone. Now let's uh, head back to the garage and uh, get going. Back at home base now, and uh, when I told you guys the garage was a mess, I was not kidding. So this was the whole paint booth. So I made this entire booth with our booth with just PVC pipe and then just regular plastic sheets. That's clearly where I was testing out all the fan settings. But this is where the BRZ was painted. This is where the BRZ's wheels were painted. It looks a little bit more garbage right now than it was before because we have all this stuff just sitting on the floor everywhere. When the car was in here and we were painting the entire car, this was a clean to like the bare bones. For ventilation, I had air pushing in through there and then air pulling out through there and I have box fans just sitting on the sides. I made this paint booth as legit as I possibly could. To be honest, I kind of am proud 
out of it. We had stuff hanging from the ceiling. It just, it was like as, it was as legit as an at-home DIY paint booth can get. I had plenty of space to work with. I can't wait to tear this thing down. I miss having my garage. I want my garage back. I want to be able to park the BRZ in the garage right now. I can't, it's just so messy. This is all just, this is nasty. Like I was saying, I wanted to put the GTR hood vents permanently in. When I was showing you guys the car, I just placed them in there. I never put like 3M double-sided tape down, but now that the car is painted, I can finally put down the 3M double-sided tape on the GTR hood vents and kind of get it in so it doesn't just fly off when I drive. Another thing I have to put in is the shark fin antenna. We rewrapped the roof satin black. I thought that satin would be a pretty cool contrast with the glossy uh, purple. That is all wrapped satin black. This I painted satin black. And yesterday I was doing a pull with Ant and and this little sucker just flew off. I heard something, I didn't know what the heck it was, and uh, I looked at my roof and I saw, oh my God, there's the shark fin, and I just saw that the shark fin wasn't there anymore. We went back, luckily we did find it. It's in rough shape now. I'm gonna have to repaint this before I put it back on the car. Also just put some flex tape on the back of the hood vents to block it off just to make sure that uh, water doesn't get through or as much water doesn't get through. Sam, could you actually come here and just make sure this is straight? I want to make sure both of them are like perfectly symmetrical. Kind of let it down? Mm -hmm. Perfect? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You're 100% sure? Yes! Okay. Just looking at it from like this angle, ooh, it's so aggressive, I love it. Wait, here's exactly what I was telling you guys. This color, like, it looks a little bit different in the shade. So like you guys saw before, it was like kind of a light purple. Now it looks like a really dark purple and you can't even see like the metallic in it anymore. It's gonna take a little while to like actually dry and stick. We gotta put the other side in too. Um, oh, I totally forgot to tell you guys the uh, the wheel specs. So they're 18 by 10 in the front with a four inch lip and then it's 18 by 12 and a half with a six inch lip. Now this back here, this is a big boy. Uh, now I didn't intentionally run stretch tires. I'm running a 235 40 in the front and I like the stretch on it. It's not too much. It's just perfect in my opinion. The back is a little bit more than I would like. So I wanted to go with Federals for a number of reasons. Now I wanted to go with the Federals 595s. 275 is the biggest size that I could find in Federal 595s. And I was like, all right, screw it. I'll run a 275 and um, yeah. That's a 275. It's tiny, or at least tiny for this massive wheel. I'm not a huge fan of stretch. Let me know what you guys think about the stretch. Should I keep it or should I get rid of it? Let me actually air it out so you guys get a better look of it. A few things I definitely need to do. I need to lower the car and I need to get a spacer big enough so that the wheel can sit flush with the fender. Definitely could, however, go lower in the front. Overall, I really like the car. I really want to know your opinions. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Should I have picked a different color? Should I have went with different wheels? I read everything. I try to respond to as much as I can. I like to hear your opinions. I like to hear what you guys think about the car, about the builds and everything. Now that we got a lot done with the BRZ, we are going to start on the RX-8. We have a motor for the car just sitting literally right there we have we have the trans of the motor just connected we, it's just sitting right there all we got to do is drop it in the car oh my god that's so wide that is so wide I love it but yeah that car will be running soon I so love how the hood vents look a lot of you guys didn't like them which I wasn't so surprised about I knew a lot of people wouldn't like it it's kind of unorthodox to put GTR carbon fiber hood vents on a Subaru BRZ nobody really does it but Honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. Gives it a cool touch. I want to go out for a little drive and show you guys this car rolling a little bit. So for all the hard work Sam's been doing on my car, like she's been here almost every single day. <laughs> 
helping me with my car. Like when I was, whenever, whenever I was there, she was always there <laughs> helping me. So this car wouldn't be done without Sam. So uh, I'm letting her drive it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous right now. This is, uh, she's gonna be driving it for the first time ever since the wide booty. Not gonna lie, and, uh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you got it, you're good though, you got Literally it. Literally all I see in the mirror is wide body. Wide body. <laughs> I think you're gonna be just fine. You've driven this car plenty of times. Still just a little bit nervous though. So you got it. You're good. You're not gonna feel it right away, but when you're turning, like here, do like a little like turn, like yeah. Do you feel the camber? You feel the camber, right? It's like it's tighter. so weird. Like, it's but you also feel like you have less control of the car. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm it's saying. so like, weird. It's tight, like I feel like it's hard to like. like. By no means do I have a lot of camber. I have like negative four if that in the front in the back enough. i have no idea yeah there's enough and i'm gonna there's, have to add yeah. i'm definitely gonna have to add more camera to the front to make the wheels fit a little bit better no, we need to get rid of the camera <laughs> but oh okay. it's, it feels so weird to be the passenger of this car like i said i want to know your opinions what do you guys think about the brz do you guys like it do you guys not i personally love it there are a bunch of more things to come for the car don't worry this is definitely not it even though i like it it's not exactly where I want it to be yet. You guys can already see the tires. We're cleaning up the garage now. I know today's video was kind of short and I apologize about that. There just wasn't much to do and I wanted to update you guys, but I really hope you guys are excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. I hope you guys stick around, stay tuned for the next video. I love you guys, peace out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.